Rattlesnake populations in New England have been reduced to only a handful of locations. Alcott Smith is taking us to a remote and rocky area where one of these populations is still hanging on. A rattlesnake only moves probably 5% of the time. The most commonly misunderstood issue on rattlesnakes, I think, is that they're out to get you. In fact, 30% of their strikes in a defensive strike is a dry bite and doesn't even inject venom. But, of course, we have no way of knowing which, which bite is going to be dry or venomous. Uh, this snake is juvenile. This juvenile headed for cover as soon as we approached it. So we headed to the nearby forest to hopefully find some adults basking. Looking at this particular individual right here, uh, which appears at least uh, 10 rattles with little or no taper, means that we've lost 10 rattles that were tapered. And there's 10 now that weren't tapered. So we can assume that this animal is no less than 12 years old and in all probability is more in the 15 or 16 year old bracket. But these animals really never leave their maternal dens. They, they each year annually uh, return at the end of their migration season uh, to the very dens that they were born in and have been doing so for some eight millennia now. They're in their hibernacula for seven months of the year uh, at this latitude and only foraging for food for five months of the year and probably only eat between six and 20 meals a year. As they grow each year and enlarge, uh, they'll expand their range and that might take them as far as two and a half miles uh, from their home den and then gradually working their way back again. And during that time, they'll be feeding on chipmunks and uh, meadow voles, uh, redback voles. They lay scent trails down wherever they go. There's no comparing our ability to smell to a snake's ability to smell. And that forked tongue provides a clue as to both direction and distance of potential prey, predators, or mate. All snakes gather information with their tongue, but it's only the rattlesnake that has the telltale rattles. These rattles are made of hard protein like our fingernails, and once or twice a year when the snake sheds its skin, a new segment is added. The vibrations that are created are because of the loose connection between each segment. They're forested species. They really don't want to have human interaction. They will truly avoid you at all cost. The males attain breeding age at approximately 5.3 years, whereas the females don't attain breeding age until approximately 8.3 years. And their first birthing is not till either nine or ten years of age. They only birth every four to five years at this latitude. The young will be born alive late in August or early in September and they're approximately eight to eleven inches, maybe one of those seven to ten neonates of that litter ten years later that ever you know attains breeding age. It's a very marginal population wherever they're still showing up and they definitely need uh, the support of everyone and a little better knowledge, understanding and uh, respect for these snakes will go a long ways.